We made our way to Formnext 2025 to see exactly where the 3D printing world is headed, especially for the fast-growing 3D print farm community. We witnessed the reveal of the Bamboo Lab H2C and the Prusa Core 1 with Index Upgrade. But my favorite tech was something completely different. I discovered a new invention that could fundamentally change how 3D print farms design their future products. So here's my form next summary. My alarm went off at 4.30 a.m. to catch our train from Zurich to Frankfurt. Five hours well spent draining our laptop batteries with hard work and, let's be honest, way too many headshots from David. First off, I want to thank Flashforge for sponsoring our tickets to this amazing event. When I entered the exhibition, the first thing that caught my attention were the massive printers. And by massive, I mean absolutely enormous. Just look at this 50mm clock nozzle. I definitely don't want to be the guy on clogging or changing that thing. And here's what's funny. Even the manufacturers of these huge printers are still printing benchies. Though this one might actually float if there aren't any gaps between those thick layer lines. But before we dive into all the tool changes, let me tell you something crazy that happened. While I was walking around, kind of stalking some of the big creators in the 3D printing world, I heard a guy on my right saying, hey, I know you. You're the guy from 3D Farmers, right? I turned around and saw Maskismo. What just happened? That felt like something from a parallel universe. It definitely made my day. And the H2C hadn't even been revealed yet. Now the elephant in the room was the showdown between the H2C Prusa Core 1 with the Index and obviously the Snapmaker U1. All with the same goal. Decrease waste and make colorful prints great again. This doesn't just save filament, it saves time. Which could make multicolor prints way more accessible and become a game changer for 3D print businesses in the future. Let me break down what was announced. The H2D gives us a build volume of 300 by 320 by 325 with dual nozzles. One fixed and six that are exchangeable. The Prusa Core 1 with Index comes in at 250 x 220 x 270 with support for up to 8 tool heads. And the Snapmaker U1 offers 270 cube with 4 independent tool heads. Now for the prices. The H2C comes at 2500 up to 3000 depending on how many nozzles you get. The Prusa Core 1 comes in at 1200 with the Index system adding $700 for the 8 tool heads. But here's what's crazy. The Snapmaker U1 comes in at $800 to $1,000. I can't wait to get my hands on these printers for a proper deep dive review. Systems are cool, but my absolute favorite invention was something shown at the Prusa booth by the ZRAW. They're actually from the same city we are and have been known for their four axis modification for the MK3S. This time, they've come up with something special, a pick and place tool head for the Prusa XL. It uses an electromagnet and a vacuum nozzle to position magnets or screw nuts directly into the print. This way you can embed external parts directly into your 3D print without ever pausing. This is innovation at its finest. We have so many products that include magnets, which you currently need to glue into slots after the print is finished. With this new tool, we could eliminate that step completely and significantly increase our profit margin. Apparently, this technique was developed as a collaboration between the university and Prusa and both are pushing it forward. We might see this release for the Prusa XL in the future. Apart from meeting all the creators like Thomas Sanladara and 3D Printing Nerd, we saw some serious advancement in 3D print filament machines from 3Devo and more multi-access 3D printers from another Swiss university. But one of my personal highlights was meeting some of our school community members in person. We had some great conversations, though definitely too short. Next year, I'm reserving more time to meet up with like-minded people there. Happy printing, 3D Farmers.